As of right now, we are headed to eat. Cause I'm starving. It does not even feel like I'm here right now. Badge is now secure, sitting on the Zutara, I mean the Avatar, the last airbender bench. Sorry, Sokka. That's the bags for the left. Oh my god! That. And these are the new pepper and salt shakers. Look how cute these are. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm opening this. Well, I want to know what. Honestly, I'm oh, having this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love socks. <laughs> what do you think? Mm. Okay. I think it's gonna be Jet. I think it's Jet too. Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <gasps> it is Jet! Uh, that's oh awkward God. for me. Today is going to be the first day at the convention where I can go through Artist Alley, buy stuff, and most of all, I'm gonna be getting to meet Ezra Weiss today, who is the voice director. And I've done live streams with him before, I've talked to him before online but today we're seeing him in person and i'm also going to be seeing his wife sabrina because she also voices in miraculous as natalie nadia and i'm pretty sure some more characters but also a former ladybug miraculous holder which we saw in the episode reunion so i'm very excited to see them and you guys would have saw that i did meet up with alex and hannah yesterday they both just flew in and today at the convention as for like new people that i haven't yet gotten to meet while i'm here I do think I'm also gonna be seeing Yasmin, and I'm just so excited. I'm gonna be cosplaying as Alia today, but right now I'm getting ready for breakfast, and of course, like, I have to rep any show that I love, so we're wearing Avatar merch today. process like oh it's tedious how is it different from doing the series it's so very you, different from doing this you want to share it tell us a little bit um well i recorded many times 
because they keep rewriting it. <laughs> so I'll think I'm done, and then they'll, like, months will go by, and they'll say, oh, but we, they rewrote all of your dialogue. And then it's directed by Jeremy, for the most part. Ezra did some assistant directing as well, but Jeremy took the lead on the film. There is definitely a difference between the series and the movie. The series is more energetic, lively, bigger performances, yes, right? Yes, this With is way more dramatic. Very dramatic. <laughs> Jeremy wanted to, and Jeremy is, is making a, a film. Yes, yes. So he wants the performances to be very real. He wants to um, change the, um, the way we were approaching some of the characters just in the delivery of the lines. Yeah. So we're, and of course the animation as you, as you oh, see. Oh, the animation is gorgeous, am I right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, um, the little bit that's leaked out, really beautiful. I mean, that's also what's taking so long, is they really are working hard on it and making it as good as it can possibly be.
gonna be here for opening ceremony. Hopefully we can see Ezra one last time. We're hoping. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Goodbye to Hannah. I don't know how I didn't just cry. I think because when we were leaving the convention, I was like literally crying and then somehow I got myself together. But you know, I know I will see her again. I will see all my friends again. I know it. Now, I'll be back in my room. I've got a pack and then we've got to go to the airport. Hi guys. So as you can see, I am back in my room. The trip has come to an end, but while the trip has come to an end, I still never gave you guys a full haul of everything that I got over the course of the five days I was there. So first, let's start off with the stuff that I got from the Zag store. So a little story time. I have been eyeing this, which I will show you what it is if you don't already know, since summer 2021. Now this is exclusive to the 2016 comic-con and as soon as we entered the zag store you know you go in the store and then you turn right these were sitting in that area on those shelves and this was the third last one so with that being said let me show you what is inside of here we've got a very fancy velcro door so as you can see inside of here we have two miraculous ladybug figures these are just gorgeous i love the little plaque and the tiki here and i'm definitely Definitely not taking these out of the box. All right, the next thing that I got were some of the new Miraculous stickers here. And the last item that I got from the Zag store was this iconic little plaid keychain. And so while that was everything that I bought, you do get the iconic Zag bag. I was telling myself, I'm like, I need to walk out with something because I need this bag. It is so nice. We've got Cat Noir on one side. And then on the other side, we've got Ladybug. I wish I could remember the lady's name that was working there because she was so nice, but she noticed that we were really big fans. Like we were just fangirling the whole time we were there. I wanted to live there. So she ended up giving Hannah, Alex, and I a piece of concept art of Ladybug and Cat Noir. And if any of you guys follow this artist, I know you will recognize her art style. And this is by Angie. So that was my haul from the Zag store. If you guys ever happen to be in the area, you don't even like have to go inside it because if you are driving by it, you will see that the outside is amazing. And me, two years ago, I remember looking on Google, seeing that this store existed, and now I've gotten to visit it, and it's very surreal. So starting off with the first miraculous stuff that I got from Artist Alley there was this miraculous lanyard. And so one side here has an Adrianette theme, and this other side is definitely my favorite, and it's this ladybug theme says Lucky Charm, Spots On. I just love the colors. I think it's so pretty. And from that same artist, I got this Adrienette Bakery print from them. This next miraculous print or prints are just so majestic. I love them so much. And I have a Ladybug and Cat Noir print from this artist. They also sell some miraculous pins. And I ended up picking up this Peacock Miraculous inspired one. Also very quick, this did have to do with Artist Alley, but it was something that had to do with Ezra, and he was hiding these little miraculous surprises around the convention, and you guys probably saw when me and Hannah found one. It was so fun finding these, and I ended up getting a plaid keychain. And also from Ezra, I got some miraculous ribbons. Ribbons were huge at this convention, and it's something that I've never seen before. But as for the ones I put, I have this Avatar one with Uncle Iroh. This one I actually got from Sabrina, who is the voice of Natalie, Nadia Shimok. Then these two were from Ezra. So once again, a little break from my artist alley haul, but I'm gonna show you guys some of the gifts that I got. Hannah knows my obsession with candy canes, so she gave me more candy canes to support my obsession. She also gave me a bunch of her art, which is so beautiful. I got a restock of Hannah's stickers because um, I love stickers. And her also knowing my love for Avatar, she got me one of the Avatar The Last Airbender keychain blind bag. And I got 
jet. Tana also gave me a keychain of her art. So cute. I also got gifts from Alex and Yasmin there. Look at Alex being a crafty queen, yes. And then Yasmin also gave me a bunch of things. I love everything. But I will say I have a favorite and my favorite thing from Yasmin is this Katara keychain. Back to that artist alley haul, I've got this adorable sticky notepad. I was able to find this Lady Noir sticker. One of my favorite artists was there and she was on my flight to Long Beach. So I got this piece of her OCs, this piece of Wanderer, this of Albedo, and this was the last one that I got from her. And as for what I have left to show, these are my larger prints, but also my signed prints. So this print here is by Sabrina, and Sabrina had actually gotten two new Natalie prints. This one being by B, and then the other one which I can show here being by Angry and Agrest. Next up, I have a signed print by Ezra. This was my first time ever getting to meet Ezra in person. I've only ever gotten to see him through live streams, or you know on Instagram and he is just the best. Ezra, if you do happen to see this, I just want to say thank you so much for making my experience at Anime Los Angeles so special. Anne was there as well, who you guys might know for now voicing Sabine in Miraculous. So I ended up getting this Nobara print from her. This print tells the entire story of Avatar The Last Airbender, or at least goes through the three seasons that we got. I just, I love Kirby, so I got this little keychain. And then actually on like the first day of the convention, I stumbled into Eris. And just like with most of my miraculous friends, I was introduced to Eris through Ezra. So getting to meet her in person was amazing. She is so kind. And she gave me this ladybug keychain. This is of her artwork. So beautiful. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I did get a lot of ribbons, but I'm going to be mainly just showing you the miraculous ones. So from this panel that had happened on Friday, at the end of it, I got this one that says, fly away, my little look. Kuma. I got this one from Ezra that says, I'm a cucumber. This is one of my favorite miraculous ribbons that I got while I was there. And so me and Hannah were just going through Artist Alley. And one of the artists there, they had like a bunch of miraculous keychains. So that's what stopped us at their booth. And they said, well, I have a miraculous ribbon, but to win it, you need to sing the beginning of the theme song and like as dramatic as possible. So we did that. I mean, just imagine me and Hannah in the middle of like a busy aisle, people walking back and forth and us just singing loudly, dramatically to win the ribbon. It was worth it. Hannah had also made a bunch of miraculous ribbons. Her and Kat both worked on a bunch. So this one is by her. It says, don't be ridiculous. We have a radiant, carefree, dreamy Adrian the fragrance. This one is so beautiful and it's a Mary Shat one. And as for the last miraculous ribbon I got, this one is so special and one of my favorites. This one here says meet the miraculous and on Friday night there was a second miraculous panel that happened, which surprisingly I got to be a part of. And with that, that is everything that I got during my time in LA. This trip was magical. It was such a dream. Thank you guys so much for watching the vlog. And with that that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.